Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled, Can the Goyim, the Gentiles, ever see anything good about the Jewish people? Ostensibly, the answer seems to be no. You look at the UN and it's just horrible. It's a disaster. We go around the world helping people out from earthquakes, kids stuck in, in caves, and we'll send our technology over. We'll do anything to help out the world. And we'll defend ourselves, trying to stop someone from killing us, and then the UN condemns us. So we could kill a half a million people and no big deal. So, seems like the answer is no. If you look at our sources, it's a bit mixed. On the one hand, we have Pasha Chukat. What does Pasha Chukat say? Pasha Chukat says, Paraduma, and Rashi says, yeah, these are the Chukim that the Gentiles are going to go and mock us. It doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? In Pasha Verchanan, this is your Chachma, your wisdom in this nation. What a wise nation we are. So the guy are going to be impressed with us. And the Pasuk is going to be impressed by a chukim. The Pasukim we have to, and before also mentioned chukim and mishpatim. The chukim, the mysterious mystery, we don't always know the reason. Mishpatim we understand better. So the Pasuk does mention mishpatim as well, but the Pasuk actually says chukim. And they're going to be impressed with us. The first Rashi on the Torah. What does the first Rashi in the Torah say? That we have the whole safe of Rasha. Why? So that the Goyim could see that Hashem created the world. There's obviously in Yaakov. And because of them, Hashem chose us, the Jewish nation, as his Amsquila chose a nation, and he's going to give us Israel, and they have to accept it. So there's some hope the Goyim will accept it. Obviously, they don't seem to accept it. But Rashi seems to say that they would. So what is our approach you have psukim and indications of Hazir. One day the government are going to see us, they'll see MS, they'll see truth. And on the other hand, we know Ace of Son of Yaakov, hate us, they can't say anything good about us. So I think the answer is very simple. You have Gentile 1 and Gentile 2. Gentile 1 is the average, typical Gentile. The Yetzirah, the sin of the hatred, just takes over. He cannot see anything good about us. I'm not saying that a Gentile should say, wow, the Jews, Israel, the state of Israel, the government, everything's perfect. We're human beings, we make mistakes. But. In terms of what we have done and created him 70 years and what we've done for ourselves and for the world, it's it's phenomenal. Anyone who was two eyes in his head could see that. And yes, there's some issues you could criticize us for, for sure. So you have Gentile number one is just overtaken by the sin of the jealousy, the hatred. I just cannot see anything good in us. And he'll be totally fine with the UN condemning us and, and leaving North Korea and Syria and Iran out of the picture. Because the rational faculty is just hidden, covered. And then that's what Rashi means. They say, Son of Yaakov, they're going to make fun of us. But this Gentile too, Gentile too, a second kind of a guy who wants to see MS. And will overcome a natural tendency that many Gentiles have to be jealous of us and the fact that we are God's chosen nation, that we are so successful again and again. We're knocked down and we just keep coming back again. There's something unique about us. And some Gentiles are willing to see that and overcome the jealousy. And for those Goyim, however few they are, 1% of the world, 5% of the world, a half of a percent of the world, the Torah speaks to them and says, read Safe and Gracious properly. Understand what the creation is about, why God created the world, the special relationship he established, I'm using Yaakov, and then you'll understand why he gave the Jews Israel. The rest of the world inhabit and enjoy. It's for the Goyim to enjoy and to grow and get closer to Hashem with seven Ochad laws. But Israel, that piece of real estate is for the Jews. And hopefully a guy whose objective could look into it and understand it. So to an Vetchanan, which guy is going to say that about the Jewish nation? Gentile number two, who's looking, searching, wants to understand things. And we have those around too. We have righteous Gentiles. We have righteous Gentiles who stay as righteous Gentiles. Righteous Gentiles also convert. And they see something unique and special. And for those Gentiles that have clarity and can overcome the natural tendency, the Torah has a lot to say to them. He respects them, loves them, and wants them to see MS and truth. And even if it's a tiny, tiny percentage of the Gentiles, still the Torah write the whole book of Bracious, and that will be one of the goals. To go ahead and let a truth-seeking Gentile see God's plan in the world. And you'll have a whole Pasuk dedicated, series of circum dedicated in Beth Hanan, to say, Gentiles, we want you to see the beauty of Torah. Study it and realize this is a beautiful system and the Jews are the Amskula, 
learn it, embrace it, partake of it, whether that's the seven no had laws, or seven no had laws where you do some more optional ones, or the 613, get Toshav, a lot of plans for the Gentiles, but look into it and see, so you too can have a connection with Hashem. We hope and pray that Kol B'nei Vasei Kru B'Shemach, all going, will see God one day speedily in our days, but at least those that are capable as, as of now to have clarity and see the truth, hoping that right now that they could go ahead, explore the Torah and the Mitzvah, and see the beauty of the Torah and Hashem. Shalom.